Hey guys, Greg here of Let's Solve Reverse String, Lee code number 344. It's a classic and probably the easiest two pointers problem. So we'll write a function that reverses a string, and the string is actually given as an array of characters s, and we'll see why in a moment. Now you must do this by modifying the input array in place with O of 1 or constant space extra memory. So if we were given the array of the characters h, e, l, l, o, you'd want to reverse that in place, meaning that all of these spots, they are going to be just adjusted to be what it would be reversed. So now it is O-L-L-E-H. So what we mean by in place is that you cannot return this solution. You can't just return S and then colon colon negative one. This in Python will return a copy of the reversed array. So if we were to run that, it's not gonna like that at all. And it actually thinks that our output is precisely the same as it was before because it's actually not looking at the thing we're returning. It says, don't return anything, modify S in place instead. So no matter what we return here, it actually is always going to look at just what the underlying memory is of this S. So say that we are given the array of characters H, E, L, L, and O. Again, what you're not allowed to do is just to make a copy of this thing and then to reverse this copy. So you could make a copy and then you could actually just return the opposite, which would be this. Except that no matter what, that is still changing this copy here. And so we're not interested in changing that. No matter what our solution is, we must be overriding this array right here. We have to change this block of memory. Okay, so the way to do this is to do a two pointer approach because we're trying to reverse the string. Let's make a pointer L point over here. That's actually just going to be an index at the beginning here. And we'll get one R that is going to point at the end, which is going to be N minus one and is one, two, three, four, five here. So R is going to be four. Now, before you get annoyed that I'm saying two pointers instead of indices, yes, if you're using something like C or C++, pointers mean something different, but this is just the way it's called. This is called a two pointer approach. So if this thing was called S, then we could access the character on the left of S at L. So that's gonna be this character. And we could also access the character on the right, which is S at R, so that's this character. And then really, you just have to swap them. And in old languages, you had to make like a temporary where you had a temporary variable looking at one of them. Uh, but in Python, it turns out you can actually just swap them very easily. I'll show you how to do it in code, but you would just straight up swap them. So you would put the O over here and the H over here. Now that those are swapped, we need to move these over. So we would do L increments and R decrements, and we would do the same thing here. We would be looking at these indices and we would just swap them. We would move the L and the E over. This is gonna be L, this will be E. And then when we get to the middle here, that is when our algorithm is done. And just to color it better, I'd rather it looks like this, but the point is that you actually can complete this algorithm as soon as they're equal to each other. Because I mean, if you wanted to, you could swap S at L and S at R, but they're already equal to each other. So there's no point swapping them. At this point, when they're equal to each other, the algorithm is complete, and you can see that we swapped the underlying memory. Okay, so we'd get our index L is equal to the first index, which is zero. We'd get R is equal to N minus one. So let's also get here an N is equal to the length of the S array, so that we can get R is going to be the last index at N minus one. And then we can just run this while L is less than R, because again, as soon as they're equal to each other, this would complete here. So while L is less than R, we just want to swap them. And you can do it like this quite easily. You just set S at L and S at R to equal S at R and S at L. In Python, this just sets S at L to be this and S at R to be this simultaneously in a way that it doesn't mess things up. It simply swaps them. Okay, and the only other thing we have to do here is to make sure that L is going to go up by one to move it to the right and R is going to go down by one, moving that to the left. And that is actually the end of our algorithm. We don't even have to return it because we're not returning anything. We're just modifying the array memory. Okay, so let's look at the time and space complexity. So the time complexity, we're really just just going through the array. We're using two different variables. One is going to the right, one is going to the left. And when they meet in the middle, then that is when it completes. So we're basically just going through the array or the string. And so that is going to be big O of N. And as we already explained, this is using no extra space. As you can see here, we just have some variables. We're not actually storing anything large here at all. And so this space is going to be big O of one. Drop a like if this was helpful, guys. I hope it was and have a great day. Bye-bye.